So I'm going to help y'all understand what y'all are listening to when you listen to me. You're listening to somebody that's a perfectionist. I strive for perfection. I've been this way all my life. Um, and what I've noticed in all of my, uh, all of my uh, curriculum has came from the black community. Understand that when I talk about these things. So here's how it is in a black community. Tupac said, even though you was a crack fiend mama, you still was a black queen mama. I've never seen a queen crackhead. They all stink. They all look like we call crackheads creepy crawlers. I had no idea what that fool was talking about. Um, then there's the intruders. They made I'll always love mama. Then there's one verse in the song said, what about pop? Man, pop was out doing his thing. Yeah. Okay. Then there's the great uh, temptations. They made a song called Papa Was a Rolling Stone. And as a nerd, I pick things apart. So in that song, there is a line that contradicts the entire song. And it said, folks said Papa used to beg, borrow, and steal to pay his bills. Hey, Mama, poked up about the drinking, spent most of his time chasing women and drinking. Mama, I'm a day or two. Whatever. Folks said Papa used to beg, borrow, and steal to pay his bills. <laughs> Go figure. What's not going to happen with me is I'm not going to let Atila Sean Bradley and her daughter spread dirt on me. And as a matter of fact, there was a line in this picture that I seen. Wall Street. And it said, you stop lying about me and I'll stop telling the truth about you. The biggest problem with a lot of you guys is you allow your child's mom to continuously do things, continuously do things. You, what I, what I realized and the reason why I started that company to, <clears throat> to my rear left and your right, the reason why I started this company is I realized that we, there was nobody to help me like I help, I'm helping. There was nobody. And everybody that does help is those individuals that normally come to me after they go to somebody else that said, you, all you got to do is type this up and send that in. Just put it in another envelope and send it back. But what's not going to happen is my former daughter come around to me and say, dad, why did you? This is why I make sure I remind the world to understand. No, the woman is the mess up in this one. And my mom don't want to understand it. That's why I don't speak to my own mom. Yep, her too. Her too. I do not care. If you think that as a nerd, a person that has a higher conscience is going to allow you to come to me with some lowball intellect. Now I'm going to help you understand you just stepped in it. So I'm not interested ever. I'm not a forgive and forget person. I'm a forgive and don't ever talk to you again type person. I became that five years ago at 55 I became that when I was 50. So I'm not doing it no more. I'm not ever doing it again. Um, I'm, I understand life now. For my remaining years, I am not spending it trying to fight somebody with a social with social in, uh, curriculum and trying to help them understand. If anybody come to me from my past, meaning family, especially my former daughter, she will be reminded, nope, this is your mother. It's got nothing to do with me. I know what society tell you about black men, but mm -mm, we ain't playing that over here.